cars were a bit actually. Liverpool fun. are in. So and they go. Good stop from high tech. Uh, yes, Roma did a very good pit stop because they're in front of Liverpool now. AC Milan are in and out, smoking those wheels. So, AC Milan is going to remain where he was, but uh, AS Roma is going to move up a little bit. Wow, this is it. Look at this. The battle for the title is on. Liverpool just ahead of Eindhoven. Very good fight there. Liverpool have gone out in front of Eindhoven. Just, but just. Eindhoven haven't pit yet. Oh, and he makes a mistake, and Eindhoven is on the outside. It's not going to work. Yelma Berman trying to go round in fifth gear this. Down the back straight. Here comes Yelma Berman. And he's going to try to outbreak. Well, actually, oh, Eindhoven yes. have been pitted. So this is the battle for the runner up spot. Berman knows that he's got to get past Liverpool now. It's now or never. And I can tell you, he probably lost his chance unless Liverpool makes a mistake because Liverpool is quicker. He had to make it to make it in dry sack because dry sack is a slow corner and that's the place you can overtake. Well, both of them pitted on exactly the same lap, and so the battle continues. And AC Milan are in there as well. This is the battle for all three now involved. So whoever wins this race, yes, that's fantastic. They've got 30 minutes to to fight basically. To sort themselves yes. out. <laughs> they all pitted on exactly the same lap. Forecast shows Beijing going to 402. Liverpool at the moment would take runner-up spot, but look how close it is. Eindhoven would take third and AC Milan would be in fourth. But this is not over by any means and Robert Dornbos winding himself up now to have a look at Eindhoven. Liverpool holding him on, but they have got worries about the fragility of that car. Will it hold up? Into the first turn they go. Out towards the Michelin curve. Traffic in front of them. And I can tell you that Robert Dornbos will want revenge on Adrian Baez. Absolutely. From Estrell because they had a great fight and Adrian Baez won that fight and you can see the car sliding a little bit. It's not quite flat in this long left hand and they're in turn four and now they're in fourth gear through there because they're struggling with grip. Great onboard pictures and we'll enjoy it with Robert Dornbos. I'm sure some more in a moment because he's right there with Yalma Berman and PSV Eindhoven. What a battle for the league runner-up spot this is. We hoped it would get close, but uh, not as close as this. And they are in their own race. They won't care about lap times, they won't care about anything. It's, it's a simple dogfight. Yeah, exactly. At the moment, Liverpool finishing there would be second, PSV third, and AC Milan fourth in the championship. If they reverse that order now on track... It changes the championship. Exactly. And out of all of that, Corinthians, who've yet to pit, lead the way from Glasgow. So the current leaders are Corinthians and Glasgow, but they haven't they haven't beaten yet. Galatasaray is only seven seconds behind them. So Galatasaray will be leading again once Corinthians and Rangers will stop. Graphic illustration and Liverpool now trying to get past Alain, and this is slowing them down. Adrian Baez getting frustrated here. The man from Alicante. Got a busload of fans down and they want him to succeed. But Alain is actually curr it's currently running in eighth position in front of Liverpool, so he has no reason to let him No, he shouldn't let him get by. And this is again Craig Dolby. Uh, Craig Dolby surprise, surprise, back. just <laughs> when you thought he was safe. Here comes Craig Dolby out of nowhere. <laughs> Dolby surround sound, you could say. And, and he's the quickest, uh, he was the fastest in the first race this morning. He's everywhere. He's everywhere. <laughs> fastest lap of the race in 130.1, so it's truly oh, fast. Oh, he's almost too everywhere there. He almost bumped straight into AC Milan. He wants the AC Milan car to move away, move away from his, uh, from his way. He's lost a bit of time, a little bit of patience. Craig, you'll have your chance soon. Yeah, he's not looking at the clock. There's 25 minutes yet, Craig. He's a great racer. He just wants to win wants to get past every lap. And Liverpool continue to stick behind Elaine. Funny enough, the other leg car looks pretty soft to me. Is he going to try to dive there? No. Corinthians have pitted. Rangers, the only team who now lead, but have yet to pit. That means that Galatasaray will be back in front, followed by Flamengo and Corinthians after this. 
He's so close from AC Milan. He is faster. Yeah, Andelek's last lap of one. Well, actually, Andelek's last lap of one with 34.3. Yeah, but that's not correct because uh, AC Milan, he got closer of AC Milan. Whoa. He can't be closer than that. Now, surely down the back straight. Now up to fifth gear. Dropping it down to fourth for here. Then back up to fifth as they come out of the exit of this. Up to sixth gear, flat out over 270k. Down towards the dry sack, down the back. Straight here at Herrera. Craig Dolby looking come for a way on. past and he's yeah. done it. Oh, too far, too far. Dolby takes it. Oh, fantastic. I thought he was going to go straight, but he breaks superbly. Ye of little faith. Dolby is through. And he's coming. Yeah, and now he's uh, uh, looking as though he's going to attack the next man. Yes, behind Hoban. So, yeah, Craig Dolby may not be in contention for the championship, but he's going to play a part. And he's so fast. And he came out from pretty far. Look at that. And he didn't miss the apex either. Well, he's been a sensation, has Craig Dolby. The man from Leicestershire in England. He went from behind of the car to in front of the car, just in the braking area. Normally you're side by side, but he went from far to far, far behind to far ahead, which is uh, very, very good. He's a Nottingham Forest fan for his sins. <laughs> and he makes a move on PSV on the round the outside, and he makes it. Does he? He makes yes! it. Yes! Oh, go on! Great. <laughs> Excellent racing. I told you I'm a great fan. You told me that nobody could overtake here, Herrera. Evan, he proved me wrong. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. That's brilliant racing, and Craig Dolby is making mincemeat. And uh, and he has a fantastic exit from turn two. He's probably on new tires because uh, he has a lot of traction compared to the others, and he's just flying past them. Look at that. We're on board. Oh, wonderful move under the UFO. Well, he's discovered push to pass. That's for sure. Yep. And again from outside. Braking later, turning in early to scrub down some speed with the tires. Very good job. Well, you know, I said that Craig Dolby was relatively unknown before he came here. Well, he was really on the international scene, but of course, if you follow your carts and the young McLaren Mercedes uh, kart series back in the UK, that's where he made his name. And then he went to uh, Formula Renault and raced in Belgium. And Formula Renault. Really, really where he's been hiding is Craig Dolby, but he's out now in the sunshine of a red and showing what he's got. Look at the gap he's pulled on Yelma Berman. Yeah, very fast indeed. As we have a view on FC Porto and Sevilla who are fighting at the back. And everything has settled down with 21 minutes to go. Everybody has pitted and we're now back to Galatasaray leading the race. Okay. There is Sevilla being chased hard by Porto. No love lost between those two football clubs. Beijing is fourth. Very good race from uh, Beijing. Porto fans travelling overnight, some 11 hours to be here. Tristan Gomendy trying to give them something to cheer about. And Liverpool are in. Is it over? Yes, it is. The dream for Liverpool is over, and that problem with the fuel pump has come back to haunt them. It's game over, they think it's all over? Well, it is now. They tried, very sorry for them. So then, PSV Eindhoven back in position to take the runner-up spot. AC Milan, though, will be told by their board surely as we take a look at Galatasaray, who have a 14-second lead now, mammoth lead they have at the moment. And Alessandro Perguidi doing an awesome job. Yeah, I have my fingers crossed for him because he was very competitive from day one in testing, and uh, he hasn't done any single-seater at a very high level. Alessandro Pierguidi has raced GTs in the past with the Scuderia play team, which is very much uh, of his family around him, and uh, he, deserves, he deserves a win. So there's 20 minutes to go, plenty of time for a mistake, but uh, fingers crossed, carry on, be strong. And he's extremely fast as well. Last lap in uh, 32.8, which is not as good at, as Dortmund or as the cars following him behind, but he has a 13-second lead, so he's uh, just controlling, basically. He's pushing hard. You can see by the uh, oversteer he got there 
on the entry to that corner, there is Borussia Dortmund. They're currently in second place, but some 13 seconds adrift. But look at the time, as you quite rightly point out, 131.5 by James Walker last lap. You haven't mentioned Walker much. He's not